Hi guys, so here's your second video of the debrief. So if we're looking at our problem to do the empirical formula based on what we're being instructed to do, we would take the percentages of each of these and divide them by the molar masses of the element that they're discussing. So looking at carbon, we have 50.4% carbon and carbon's molar mass is 12 grams per mole. And so we would take 50.4 divided by 12, and that gives me a value of 4.2. Then we would take hydrogen, which is 15.2%, divided by the molar mass, which is 1, and then that's 15.2. And oxygen, which is 34.4%, divided by oxygen's molar mass, which is 16, and we would get 2.15. So then our next step is trying to figure out a whole number ratio of these elements based off their percentages. And so all you simply have to do is see which value is the lowest and divide the rest of them all by that. So 2.15 is our lowest, so we would divide everything by 2.15 and figure out what those are if they're whole numbers. Now, you do have to do some rounding, but it's not too bad. Uh, so, like, for example, 4.2 divided by 2.15 is 1.95, so that is rounded to a 2. 15.2 divided by 2.15 is 7.06, so 7, we would round that to. And then, of course, 2.15 divided by 2.15 is 1. And so then this becomes your empirical formula, where it's C2H7O, and then just O, sorry, there we go, uh, 1, because it was only a subscript of 1, so you would leave that off. Okay. Now, the next part of the problem is to do the empirical or the molecular formula based off the empirical formula. So they give us this piece of information that is that the molecular formula is 101, 141 grams per mole. So if I jump back to my whiteboard here, I'm going to erase everything except for the empirical formula. And we know that the molar mass of the molecular formula is 141 grams, but we want to know how much times, how many times larger that is than our empirical formula. So in order to do that, we have to calculate what the molar mass of the empirical formula is too. So the molar mass of the empirical formula is, for C, it would be 12, which is the molar mass from the periodic table, times 2 is 24. H, which is 1 times 7, so 7, and then O, um, which is 16 from the periodic table, times 1 is 16 for a total of 47, okay? And so then we would take the molecular formulas 141 divided by 47 and... find out that it's three times as large. So that means that we just multiply everything here by three. So we end up with C6, eight, that's supposed to be a six, H2103 for our uh, molecular formula then. So hopefully this is helpful. And if you have more questions, please check in with me on Teams. Talk to you later. Bye.